Hello guys, this is Dennis, the bike mechanic. And, uh, and I'm this... Jim, the guy that you met before. I showed you my <laughs> Swiss military bike and we were talking about that in one of the prior videos. So Jim, what do we have now? So still in line with uh, uh, 30s, 40s theme, what you're looking at here, this is a World War II bring back from Germany. Uh, it's called the German Truppenfahrt. So this is what the German troops were issued uh, during World War II. And uh, it actually played a vital role in, in the Operation Blitzkrieg. They were able to transport ammunition. Um, in this case, you'll even see in, my, in the box, hand grenades, uh, hookups for rifles. Yeah, we'll, but, we'll get to that magic back box later. Yeah. Okay, let's start unwrapping, uh, taking this bike out okay. of the foam. And uh, you mentioned that you got this bike from Germany. Uh, recently, Bl very recently. Bl Bl yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, very recently. Uh, here's yeah. the bike. We built it up, re uh, fixed uh, all the stuff, unpacked, laid a slightly a little bit dust on top. But uh, please speak about this bike. Sure. So uh, this bicycle is a is a World War II Truppenfahrt, Ger German Truppenfahrt. Uh, I got it uh, from. It comes from Germany. The bicycle itself. Uh, a lot of the componentry in here has been uh, manufactured for what they would call war bikes. So there's a, a piece on here that we'll be able to show you, which is the handlebars are what they call express handlebars made by a company called Express Work. And unique to that is that it has this lever that if you, if you open up the lever, which takes a little bit of pressure, you can actually take the bars literally straight up and off mm -hmm. of the bike in a super easy fashion looks like it but we're on the stand so but basically you could pop the pop them off and pop them on really quickly but you can imagine for moving bicycles around in the troops yeah so if you're stocking like 50 bikes all together yep you can literally take this handlebar off and uh stack them one by one so that's to, one to of save, the pieces there space. And we just got to tuck and, this in. Yes. And then and you go straight the, down the with brake that. lever. So those two, two nuts, the tread is left here and the tread is right here. So when you open it, they both open. And when you close it, they both close. So, okay. It's very easy. Quick on and off. This, uh, this bicycle also, you'll see by the markings on the back, this was from the 7th Mountain Division in the German Army during World War II. Uh, and the Edelweiss flower that we have on here also indicates, if those of you that are aware of this, this is a mark of a true soldier, a German soldier yeah, marked this. in here. One of the other unique uh, aspects of this, too, is that the bicycle is equipped with a, uh, with a front drum light that works on both a dynamo as well as the ability to put a battery in. So one of the clear specs that they had for the purposes of making this for the German army is so, they needed to be able to take it off of the bicycle when so, it wasn't in use and use it as a flashlight. So here would fit an old style battery that contains three AA batteries. So you can put one here, close it. Yep. And the- Here we go. Look at that. Still working. Rolling. Still working. Still working, yes. And uh, the uh, the brand of the bicycle, the make of the bicycle is, is Gritzner. Okay, and, and look at this. Is this the... That's, what, the, what? that's the mark of the Gritzner. Yep, oh. right here. <laughs> a few good. other additions onto the bike. Um, it's the mantle halter, which is the holder that sits on top of the... Uh, you see the brackets on the bottom, but they're holding and supporting what could be a combination of things, uh, both blanket, jacket, and in this case, the Zelt bomb. And this is the tent that the German military would use. So that was the uh, purposes of this. In this case, not only is it supporting the Zeltbaum, but also one of the uh, the old German bayonet knives that that we have in here. Just gotta see if we can Put pop cutter. it in the case. Look you can that. see. Just look at still that. Still carrying the wooden handle. So you can mount it on a rifle and uh, use it for fighting. That's the original knife, a little bit dull. So this knife is a little bit dull, not very sharp. But still, if you want to kill somebody, <laughs> that's the perfect tool for that.
very good. I'm impressed. So I think now I'll take them to the back, and then the final piece will take them here. All of the German troop and forwards were equipped with what is the, the back rack manufactured by a company called Palas, who manufactured these racks. And in this case, we set it up here. This is the gas mask uh, that they carried the German troops in. In the back, this is also their mess kit. And now, finally, which is and one of my the, favorite parts. And the biggest part, yeah. My favorite part of the bike is this. Now, you can imagine that the ability to uh, go into an Operation Blitzkrieg, which the Germans did, was uh, in order to, to do that effectively, you had to be able to stock the front lines. And the transports from the bikes were set up so that they could actually transport, as you'll see, a set of hand grenades like, in here. Those are the stick hand holy grenades shit. inside of the bike. Holy shit, yes. Yeah. If I will have a nasty customer, so I'll throw one <laughs> into them. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of them all at once. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's explore this grenade a little bit closer as well as the uh, <clears throat> leftovers of the tools. So this is a this is a German stick grenade, and obviously very different from what the U.S. type of grenades during World War II would be. But they were balanced with the handle and set so that you would be able to set it, pull the fuse, set off your your grenade, and and, and give it a throw. You can see that these have been designed and packed in here. With we have the what it would have been to send it off. There's a fuse piece that goes in the bottom here. And once it's all set and ready to go, you would be able to set it up for the field. You see them hooked in to an area on their belt. And then they take it and they fire this off away. So at first you pull this and, pull. Then, and then within like three or four seconds, it will explode. It sets, sets off the grenade. And then what we have here then is then a, a variety of the different tools. Uh, that's the Pressure, tire, pressure, tire pressure. That's then oil, little oil to lubricate your chain, spare chain links, mm -hmm. uh, re repair kit. Yes, that's an old style valve that you can change. All the rubber is deteriorated or very a little bit like stiff. This one is easier to bend. Those are just regular patches, rubber pieces. This is a similar to the, to to the first kit. It has the light and some other uh, rubbers inside. We opened this before. Wrench. This is the brake rubber from the front brake. Front brake. Mm. And I and I smell the rubber. When when you break the lever, it's it's. It starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. You saw that in with the Swiss military yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah. Get. Beer can opener. Maybe you can do something, but mostly it's oh hey, that was cool. handy. Cool. <laughs> that, I think we covered the almost all the features of the bicycle on here. Um, you know, in this case we also have a ball hitch on the back. Um, oh in man, who would ever expect to see a hitch? on a bicycle that is enormous so you can put a trailer yep. behind uh look at this um old school pump old school yes air pump so you take it off and at the same time once you take it off you can remove this clamp and then you clamp it and it, it get it, it becomes one single piece. And I would like to show you how how it looks like an old, really, really old uh, tube. So you can yes, you can unbend it. It has some flexibility. However, I would not inflate it because obviously it's look look. It is so stiff, it's so rigid. <laughs> so once you start inflating it, it will all get cracked. So perfectly shaped for this. Okay, Jim. Uh, so let's take a let's take it for a spin tomorrow. Yeah, today absolutely. It's, today it's a little bit late. 
and uh, I really appreciate your time and that you bring this magnificent. Only, only you, Dennis. You're the bike. best at trying to work on these old bicycles. Love it. Okay, thank you. <coughs> okay, guys. So here we are in Verona Park. It's a nice chilly day. So let's take it for a spin and uh, I will see if I make any hunt. Here I have a knife. Really good and strong. So. I will have something for my lunch, but even if I will be unsuccessful, I have a good solution for fishing. I remember when we were kids, we at the we had to throw throw a grenade, but I never saw it in actual size. Let's take this bike for a spin, and uh, I will see. I will tell you what I think about overall riding on this bike. This riding position is the most comfortable. So you are sitting upright, your hands are close to you, so um, you like sitting like on a chair. And also, this bike is not made for the speed. And uh, going back in those uh, 1940s, most of the roads would be like gravel or simply dirt roads or no roads at all. So. Uh, the main purpose of this bike is to go slightly faster than a uh, pedestrian and uh, at the same time being able to carry a lot of stuff and being simple to fix it in a field conditions. Additional thing that I wanted to share and point out for the viewers is the um, what they what they set up back in these days for the for the troops was a way to lock the front wheel so the front wheel wouldn't move around. So you could imagine if you were trying to carry a spare bike and you were the rider and you wanted to bring a bike with you with no one on it. Often the troops would uh, sometimes be transporting bikes and riding together within a, a full platoon and they would ride in sort of a staggered formation using what's what they call the tow line. It was you tighten it up a little bit, the handlebar will get stiffer. Therefore, the bike will be more stable True. and easier to control when yep. the handlebar is a little bit stiff. And this hitch, that hitch amazed me. Like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. That was Dennis, the bike mechanic. And, and Jim, the, the military bicycle guy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.